definitely feeling a bit leaner, starting to get that prisoner of war look that uh, every good marathon runner should try and achieve. <laughs> like hollow cheeks and looks like you've been starving, starving for a while. Double as a, as a war movie extra. It could be a second career for marathon runners. It's, it's the track, but it's Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and I brought a bike. Uh, it's finally time to work out what distance is this track? And is it the watch or what that's getting uh, the distance wrong? And also, and, oh, I have the stride power meter foot pod, which is supposed to measure much more accurately. So we're going to find out. First off, the black watch is GPS and the red watch is the foot pod. And go. <laughs> Well, <laughs> they were both. Yeah, still the point one off there. Yeah, but is the track 400 meters? That's what the bike's for. So I can measure distance. Eighty-four inches means that uh, four hundred meters should be one hundred and eighty-seven and a half clicks of the wheel. One. <laughs> My assistant is having a picnic. What are you eating? Nuts. I thought you were eating cherries. Okay. So here's the clicker, and oh, I've got to count. So that's one. 84, 85, 86, 87, wait, 87 and a half. Mm, there you go. So I think the track is short. Last week with the GPS, mile 10 was right about here. But today, 9.8 with the foot pod. So 0.2 of a mile over 10, that's about half a mile on a full marathon. Difference in measurement. And you know, that's not far off from what we found. I don't think I've ever run a marathon, which should be 26.2, but the watch has always said 26.5, 26.6. So my guess is the foot pod is more accurate. I'm gonna to have to do a run where I take deepest GPS watch at the same time as the foot pod. You know, and go and run 10 miles and see the difference. So foot pod on the white one and GPS on the other one. Gonna run 10 miles, 10 miles on the foot pod and we'll find out what the GPS says. 10.01 miles on the white watch and 10.14 on the GPS watch. <laughs> Running a marathon is all about fuel management. You can store about 20 miles worth of sugar in your muscles, glycogen, and in your liver. Of course, the marathon is 26 miles. So it's like setting out on a journey in a car with a 20 mile capacity fuel tank and a 26 mile journey. But there is a, a spare tank, but that spare tank doesn't have high grade fuel in. It's got very low grade fuel and that's fat. And by low grade, I just mean you can only go mile 15. You can go your fastest when you're on sugar power. And if you're on fat power, honestly, you can go about 
70% or even 50% the speed. So, during the marathon, you can top up the fuel tank a little bit by taking the sugary gels, but you can only process one mile's worth of those about every 30 minutes. So that means you still don't really have enough gas in the terms of, uh, in the form of sugar to get you through the whole marathon. So these long runs are all about trying to run out of sugar and get your body better adapted for running on the fat or even better, it's kind of hybrid of the two. Just over three hours, 30 and 24 miles. And I think that's a more honest 24 miles with the foot pod. I see deep as back. How did you do? I did 24 miles. Oh, I'm 24 as well. Half marathon, two hours. Two hours, half marathon. Very good, I did 24 as well. Uh, this may not have been a good idea. <laughs> That's the running track. Deepa has an 8am appointment. So we thought we'll come to the running track because it's illuminated and we can run <laughs> run in the dark. Well, just eight weeks to go and that was an interesting week. Lots of testing for me this week. So uh, mainly, obviously, switching over to the foot pod that measures distances more accurately, hopefully. But it does mean that each mile is a little bit longer than what the watch was telling me. So lots of red for me in my numbers, because obviously longer miles mean slower times, but I'm not too worried. Uh, Deepa hasn't switched to her foot pod yet, so next week we'll probably see the same thing change for her. The main thing for me though, was a ton of miles this week, 67. That is a heavy week for me, but uh, legs are feeling not too bad. For Deepa, she really dropped a lot of time on her marathon prediction, all the way down to 4.02. That's like 10, 12 minutes off. Uh, so yes, a lot of, I think overall Deepa just ran faster. So really good there. For me, uh, lost a pound. My marathon prediction actually stayed about the same because I have adjusted the numbers to compensate now. And we'll see what happens next week. See if I can keep the mileage up without getting overtrained.